There we go. First cast. Working a tube jig for smallmouth. Real dark one. Oh, that's a beauty. Such good color on them. Looks like a good size one. Nothing huge, but nice one. That only took about a minute. He's decent, I guess. Real chunky. Not terribly long, but really fat and tall in the back. Second cast. Unreal. This guy feels heavy. <laughs> Hard to budge. Probably another smallie. Maybe, maybe. Once in a while I get a walleye doing this. Can't see him, where is he? He's right in front of me. Oh, it is a walleye, it's a real nice walleye. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, maybe he looked a little bigger out there, but still an above average walleye. It's probably a 21, 22 incher. Skinny though, spawned out. That is awesome. Here's one. Awesome. Jigging a bucktail jig. Another smallie. Brown and yellow. No tanks yet, just some decent ones. Chunky, chunky short ones. Looking for a big girl. I want a 21, man. Come on. These guys have real tall backs on them, though. Man. They are heavy for how short they are. <laughs> I'll play this guy out for a moment. He's really working the current. And cold front pushed through yesterday. I almost had to finesse jig some of them up yesterday. I did pretty well, but it was a lot tougher bite. They're crushing it today, for sure. Just got to keep them towards the surface. I don't want them to jump, but I also don't want them to get down in the water too deep because there's a lot of, there's a lot of like boulders and stuff with sharp edges. Every time they, they bring, I'm just, I just have six pound mono. Every time they uh, swipe your line past the boulder, man, there's a good chance it'll cut it under this kind of tension. I've had that happen with a lot of monster fish. Yeah, he's a nice little bass. There's another bass right behind him, right there. Look at that. Two of them. That's crazy. <laughs> they followed they followed this bass all the way up to me. He looks bigger. Actually, he's bigger than the last one, maybe by a hair. Real chunky still. They probably have eggs. Beautiful smallmouth. Move spots. Just slowly jigging brown and yellow bucktail jig, almost like working like a streamer on a fly rod. Something smacked it. I don't think it's a bass either. Oh my gosh, it's a huge brown. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. This river isn't known for browns. That is the craziest thing. Stay hooked, baby. I cannot believe that. He smacked it like a walleye and fought like a bass. He's not not super huge but big for a small river you know not big for a place like the Great Lakes but oh my gosh I can't believe this he's in the 20s I think I just gotta get him in here and maybe he's a little smaller than I think he might be like an 18 19 inch actually he looks like he was like 23 24 inches at first that is crazy tire out baby tire out the browns here are wild though that's the cool thing and really rare Oh, stop fighting like that. Please, please, please stop fighting like that. This current's ridiculous. I don't want them to get in all these boulders here. They could cut, cut me off. This is the third brown I've ever caught out of this river out of thousands of fish. Really rare experience. Thousands of fish out of this river alone, that is. 
Ah, oh, this current's ridiculous. It's so hard to. Oh, he's pretty good size. <laughs> he's big for a small river wild brown. Well over master angler size. Shoot. There he goes. He was good 22, 23 inches. There's one. Just had another little bass on. He fell off. It's tough fishing today. It's not flood conditions, but the water's receding from a flood and it's still really high. And all these bass are so chunky. They're all pre-spawn. It's just a 12 incher, but still has some weight because of the eggs. He's still there. Ah, I snagged a sucker. <laughs> It really felt like you bit it. Whatever. Right, please don't flip out like that trout. I don't want six, six hooks in my hand. Yeah, he's like an 18 incher. 19. Probably 18 and a half. Just lost a fish last cast. Nice fall fish or bass. Couldn't tell what it was. This is a walleye. Started jigging it just a little bit slower, getting it down a little deeper, and two hits in a row. After like, I don't know, 10 casts straight, nothing. Sometimes that's all it takes. This is a nice keeper walleye. I know that trout was like right around 22 because that walleye I caught earlier was 21 and that trout was a little bigger. This is a nice walleye. This is solid 20 incher for, for sure. It's got good cheeks on him. There we go. That was a nice bite. Move back to this spot. I've lost so many fish today, like three or four good hook in the mouth hooks, fair hooked fish. This guy's strong, man. Holy cow. He definitely bit it. I felt him bite it for real. <laughs> Not like that sucker before. This guy is strong. I don't I don't think this is a bass. This is like a northern or musky or a big walleye. Oh, he cut me off. That was a friggin' musky. There we go. There's a walleye. Just slurped it up. Silver, brown, black, bunny bucktail jig. Trying to finesse jig it. Barely bounce off the bottom. There we go. And he ate it soft. Finally got a fish. Nice walleye. Stay hooked. There we go. It's four keepers today. Another 20 inch or solid 20, 20 and a half on, a, on that same bunny bucktail jig. There we go. Finally. Been switching up colors a lot. I have a white orange head chartreuse strip bucktail jig on now. 
Just looking for a last keeper. My limit. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it. Uh, yeah, I think he is. Yep. Finally did it. I'd like to show you my <laughs> my five keepers, but I already cut up uh, the two from earlier for a friend. Filleted them out already, so I only have the three with me. But that makes my limit for the day. That's a solid 15 and a half, 16.